Good evening and welcome. I'm so pleased to welcome you here to Channel 17's holiday party. We're having a good time, Donna Jacobs. Yes, we are. Donna Jacobs is here. Donna is one of our live show volunteers, and we're just blessed to have her with us. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. So we did a little story about you and how you became a volunteer. <laughs> it was very serendipitous, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was a purely by mistake, but what a wonderful mistake it was. What's it been like to run the live shows on Friday nights? It's absolutely wonderful. I love it. I love meeting new people here. Um, I've gotten educated as well as meeting people, and it's been awesome. What is the um, sort of best part about the Channel 17 staff, do you think? It's like family here. Mm -hmm. I feel like a part of a family. Yeah, that's great. And what are, do you, there are some regular shows on Friday nights. What are the shows that you staff? Can you remember um, some of them? The Woodchuck Report, uh, Sandy Beard uh, shows. Um, oh, I can't remember. That's a real political spread, isn't yeah, it? It is. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. the libertarians and the and the radicals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what one of the interesting things about Channel Seventeen is we do have all those kinds of different points of view here. We do. We do. I'm so glad that you could join us, and I have go have fun with the party. Thank you. Thanks, Donna. Bye. So I'd just like, again, to welcome folks. Um, we really appreciate all the help that you give us all year long as viewers, as caller-ins, and as volunteers. And we um, really like to celebrate the folks that work with us. And of course, there is Richard Kemp, who has been doing a show here for years and years. He's a long-standing political activist. And a Channel 17 holiday party would not be complete without an interview with Richard Kemp. Welcome. Oh. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's always a pleasure to come here, mostly because of what happens in the studio and what Lauren Glenn makes happen in this studio. It's the really a, a, an important media for allowing people to express their views about almost anything. I mean, it's pretty wide open. And I think that we need more of that kind of involvement of citizens presenting who they are and what they're doing and trying to make the society a better place than what it is. So the last couple episodes of your program, what have, what have you focused on? Who have the guests been? Well, my last guest just this week was uh, Vince Brennan from the uh, uh, City Council. And we came together with um, the knowledge that in the March election, there's going to be a whole bunch of ballot items. So I said, well, Vince, let's get together. Let's do a flip chart presentation or something and tell people about what these ballot items are. Because when you go into the polls, you flip over the thing and you say all these things and you say, uh, what does all of this mean? So if we can do something before the election, it'll have people be a little more knowledgeable about what, what they're voting on. Good. And um, what would you say to folks to encourage them to come make a program here at Channel 17? Have some good ideas and uh, don't be afraid because it's just a, uh, what, what I, when I tell my guests, it's just a conversation between me and you, except that there's a camera pick, watching and picking up everything we're saying. And just don't be afraid. And um, really, I would encourage people to use the media. It's free. It's just a matter of scheduling the time and your guests or whatever you have to do. And make it happen. No one else is one of the free, free, few places where people don't tell you what you can say and can't say. <laughs> and I think that's so important. Richard, thank you so much. Okay. So um, we also have with us Mike McNamara, who has been doing, I think, more than 100 programs here at Channel 17. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Over 120, actually. 120 yeah. programs. Yeah. That's awesome. I hate following Richard Kemp, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that happen? How'd that happen? That's right. You are as articulate as he is, not to worry. So the, the Housing and Communities program, you've done 120 episodes. You're taking a little break from I'm that. I'm taking a break, but what I find is, and for people who are out there who are thinking about doing something like this, first of all, just just do it. It's, it's a great experience, and what I find on my show is that I learn way more about the people and the organizations that come on my show. You know, they're usually people I thought I knew and people that organizations that I knew well, but every time I do a show, I have to learn so much more about them. It's just an enlightening experience. So you're doing some radio now, huh? Yes, I am. Actually, on uh, Tuesday nights on The Radiator, I'm doing a show, 504 by 802, which is New Orleans by Vermont. So it's a show about 
uh, New Orleans music and culture and playing a lot of great music from 5 to 6 on Tuesdays. And how did you develop your affection for New Orleans and its music? Well, I, I actually um, heard my first uh, funky tune back when I was in high school, and I won't tell you how long ago that was, but since then I've developed a real affinity for brass bands, and we've gone down there a few times, and my brother's sort of in the local music scene down there, so we get to see a lot of what's going on and sort of get the inside track, and then, of course, the HBO Treme series came around, and I'm in love with that. Only three episodes left, but... Yeah, I know. I hate it when your favorite show's almost yeah, over. Yeah. But here at Channel 17, you can just watch them Show over and over. It keeps going and going and going. Exactly. <laughs> so and, and you, what a great job you've done here over all these years. I mean, I remember way back when when everybody thought Nat, Nat Ayer was Bernie Sanders' cameraman um, <laughs> in the early days. But uh, what this has grown into is just extraordinary. Well, it's been a lot of fun, and we're very blessed to have a great staff and great boards. And you're on this, you run the CCTV board. And do you have any messages for people about why community media is so important to support? Well, as the as the media shrinks, and we see it shrink every day, whether it's newspapers or other media, um, places like this are going to become more and more important for people to get the message out about what's going on and. When you think about local elections in Burlington, uh, there's certainly no one but us here at CCTV that's really filling the void that, that other media used to fill. Well, thank you so much, Mike, and thanks for all your work. Okay, it's great to be here. It's great to have you come here. On, come on down. Come there's on down. Plenty of food available. Yeah, it's true. We'd love to have you here. We're here until 7 o'clock here at Channel 17. It's the 12th of, 12th of December. Joe, are you going to join us, Joe and Arlo? Joe Golden is here. Joe is a, um, he's a coder <laughs> and, wow. and a community media advocate. And there's Arlo. Arlo's a big supporter, too. And you've been involved in um, the design and development of a lot of community media websites, haven't you? Um, a few around, a few local ones, yeah. Yep, L uh, working with LCA TV right now. Um, the work that I did with CCTV on the PEG event module helped out a lot of people. Um, and gave them ideas as they developed some important um, Drupal modules that are being used in a bunch of places with community media. You want to get, did you drop something? Drop nut. Arlo, here, yeah, drop that. drop that nut. Pick up that nut. So um, also part of your work is you're committed to open source programming. Absolutely, yeah. Can you say a little about that and why it's important? Yeah, open source, I think open source uh, software is really important because with open source you get to see, you get to get under the hood if you want to. Um, and you, what, when you buy something from Microsoft or a proprietary vendor, you can't look inside. So you have to trust that they tell you it's doing what it is. And it isn't always doing that. Sometimes it's sending out little messages or tracking your, your work or something like that. So open source, um, I trust open source a little more for that reason. And open source has worked on by geeks around the globe. So it's a great um, community cooperative project. Yeah, that seems to be one of the real powers of it, is mm -hmm. it's sort of the crowdsourcing, that the smarts of a lot of people who are always improving other people's work so that you end up with better and better websites and community-based internet spaces. Absolutely. And uh, some of the recent success of Apple, they recently adopted uh, OS X which is based on Darwin, which is very closely related to Linux. So we in the open source world say we've, we've had a victory there as Apple uses a bunch of the things that we've developed kind of under the hood in the new OS X. So yeah, we, we love open source. So um, I know that you spend a lot of time in front of a computer, but you also are, are interested in what's going on in the community, right? So what Absolutely. kind of issues are you involved in as a community member? Oh. Well, not as many as I'd like to be, but um, I've really appreciated F, um, CCTV's coverage of the F-35 issue, which I've kind of watched closely. Um, so I've been involved with that. Um, I help out at Arlo's school and teach little kids yoga, um, but I'm not doing as much community things as I'd like to these days. But we're heading over to community dinner here uh, momentarily. Well, and you have two small kids, so you're kind of busy. Yeah, they're they're the part of the community we're, we're watching out for. Thank you, Joe. Okay, thank you, LG. Thanks a lot. Bye, Arlo. See you later. Arnie, how are you? 
I want to um, welcome Arnie Gunderson. Arnie is with Fairwinds Corp, and um, he has been doing a lot of work informing the public about what's happening in Fukushima and other places like Vermont Yankee for many years. Hey, well, you two have, this, this station has done a lot for a lot of years, and you know, I, I really appreciate that you know, Maggie and I were out there talking about this, but without the platform that this station provided, even before the big issues at Vermont Yankee, um, you guys were way ahead of your time. So what do you, thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. And what do you, um, you know, a lot of, you have to deal with the mainstream media a lot. And how do you, how would you describe how mainstream media covers the issues of nuclear safety? Um, well, here's an example. There's a power plant shut down in Florida forever, and it's going to be 60 years till it's decommissioned. And the mainstream media in Florida just rolls over and says, well, that's what the Nuclear Regulatory Commission says. That's what it's going to be. Whereas here in Vermont, we don't take that for granted. And, and you know, this station, you know, and then your affiliates, because that stuff goes around the state, um, allows the message that there is an alternative out there to, um, to waiting 60 years to decommission a power plant. So that's just one example. But the yeah, mainstream media has rolled over. There's so much money on the other side of the issue. Uh, and, and you guys don't roll over, and I appreciate that. Well, I'm so glad that you've been able to join us here at Channel 17, and thank you for your work. No, it's very thanks. brave. Thanks for all you do. Thanks a lot, Arnie. Okay. So we're here at the Channel 17 holiday party, and um, I want to just do a special shout-out to a few people. We have um, two of our very long, long-standing supporters passed away this year. One, Doug Chiaffi, who was viewer of the year for many, many years, I would say, since we started the channel. And um, Al Bernadina, who was a co-host with Herb Blumenthal of Stump the Chumps. And so 2013 was a sad year for us because they, they passed, they departed, as one w would say. But we have them in the archives, and so they will be with us forever um, on our walls and um, here in the archives and on the screen. And you can certainly watch some previous issues of Stump the Chumps um, on our website, channel17.tv, ch17.tv. And also, we've got some good footage of Doug Chaffee there as well. Um, I also want to just say a special thank you to um, the folks who are the volunteers for our live programs. We couldn't do it without them. We've got Bob Neal and Nick Jewett. We have Eric Kaza, Aidan Deutsch, Pam Blake, and uh, Beth McMullen and Jonathan McCandless, who have been doing this for years and years. And of course, Henry Prine, who um, is going to be graduating from high school this year, but started working with us, I think, when he was in sixth or seventh grade. And Donna Jacobs, who you just met earlier in the show. James Giroux is here with us. James is a um, producer of wonderful programming every week. How are you? Great. It's nice to see you, LG. Thanks for coming tonight. Well, I. Uh Thanks for inviting me. You gotta get the mic right. Yeah, why don't you run the mic? I'm always running the mic and I don't know which end to point it at sometimes. What's the latest program that you worked on, James? Oh goodness, it's hard for me to remember what happened last week, but I've been doing a lot of uh, benefits with cancer, with Camp de Compta lately, and art openings at uh, the Firehouse Gallery. And uh, it's just a myriad of things to do. Uh, I know that you set me on a very great project and uh, I had an opening to do at the Firehouse Gallery and it was about a sailing canal schooner and a real sailing canal schooner and we look forward to doing some more work with that and of course the Maritime Museum. I had a really nice show with them and uh, the programming here is, you know, it's just a myriad of different things to do. I know it's the political things. I guess the last thing I did here political was for Rob and he sent me up to the Senator's office. Uh, World's AIDS March, and uh, right. so that's a really exciting thing to be able to, if you're out there and if you haven't ever met a governor or a senator or the mayor and you think it's a hard thing to do, just come in here and get a camera and uh, you'll be surprised where you'll end up and the people you'll meet. So, but you know, I, I would like to thank a couple of people because it's some of the small things is, that really make it. It's not only senators and congressmen or musicians, but I'd like to thank Coach Claremont at St. Francis Xavier High School and it was during Kids Day this year and it was really touching but they had seen Jackie Robinson movie and he interviewed with me running the camera all the kids on the baseball team so I don't know if you know Coach Claremont or not but uh, uh, some of the smaller things uh, really help out so uh, if you want to come to Channel 17 and get a camera uh, 
I suggest doing so. So James's program is The Artful Word. You can see it every week. There's practically a new episode every week. And we're just so grateful for your dedication. You're doing just wonderful work in the community, James. Thank you. Well, thank you for putting up with me and using uh, antiquated equipment that I use. And uh, I'll try to see if I can progress some in the uh, computer area sometime. <laughs> I think you should just stand tall with analog. It's OK. All right, that's, that's good to hear. And uh, you know, you, everyone has their specialties. Some people are good in the field. Uh, you know, you can start out in the field and then you can come and do your own production. You can come right here to the studio you have any issues and do a live show you don't really have to have an issue you just might want to come and have a little bit of fun here at the studio and it's a great place to come to thank you james well, thanks for having it's me. great to see you so i want to thank everyone for being here for this live show it's a lot of fun we um are having a really nice party everyone's kind of sitting around and um noshing and talking and that's really what community is about really talking and eating isn't it I, um, I also just want to say a special thank you to the hosts of our live shows here at Channel 17. Um, we have some great ones. We have um, Peggy Lors, who's been doing the Feminist Media Review for a long, long time. Dave Sharp, who's in charge of the legislative report. We have many legislators who come and uh, share what they're doing at the legislature. We have Richard Kemp, who you met, whose program is Progressive Thought. Hunger Free Vermont does a program on a regular basis. That's Alita Duncan. She's in charge of coordinating that. Many people from their organizations appear on it. Mohammed Abdi, um, who is with the Somali Bantu Association, and uh, it's really helpful for that network of folks to have a platform to get out their news and information. And then the Burlington Democrats do programs. Melinda Moulton has been hosting on the waterfront for many years with um, great joy in her heart. The mayor does a program. And then we have Burlington School Commissioners. And uh, Cal Workman helps with the Y Connection, which has been really neat because the Y is a, a giant force in Chittenden County and beyond. And then Preservation Burlington, Ron Wanamaker, who um, produces a lot of short programs and and host the live shows as well. We mentioned Bonnie Scott of the Woodchuck Report, which is a neat little alternative program, True North, which is with Bob Maynard, and uh, the Vermont Worker Center. So you can tell we've got um, just a wide variety of political views here on Channel 17, and that's what it's all about. Open doors, open ideas means an open democracy. So we encourage you to come and get trained, borrow our equipment at no cost, come and host a studio program. We'd love to see you. We produce over uh, 1,200 hours of programming a year, and it's all available online. And now, as of 2013, the TV channel stream live 24-7. Channel 17 on Com Comcast and Burlington Telecom, and, on, and channel 317 on BT. So stay tuned, and uh, 2014 is going to bring some really neat projects, including the Civic Cloud, which will be a public access internet uh, cloud for uh, community groups to access and use, and we're really pretty excited about that, so you'll be hearing more about it. So thanks so much, and have a very happy holiday from all of us here at Channel 17.